Morning, Trev here. Summit or nothing, walking the southwest coast path. Today I'm back at Westwood Ho to carry on from where I left off last time. So this walk takes us around Appledore, then we go up the estuary into Biddeford. So we're through Biddeford, then we're heading out towards Instow. First part of this journey, as you can see, it's over these long stretch of pebbles across what's called Northern Burrows, like moorland, common ground. We're walking there on a golf course. Hopefully I won't get hit by any balls on the way around. Right, we're leaving uh, Northern Burrows now. Today it's low tide, so we managed to go straight in across here, sort of beside these mud flats that I've been walking around. And uh, we should come up over here in a minute and we'll be in Appledore. This seems quite a, a grim little area. In amongst all these pebbles, there's all shrapnel, metal, bits of old road, drain pipes, old bricks, sort of crap all around here. Whatever was here, that's fallen down. Here we come now, Appledore. There's a lot of boating activity going on out there. It's a really quaint little town, is Appledore. I didn't realise that the coast path would actually come in through these streets. There's Insto over the other side. Hopefully we should get around to there today. You can get a ferry from here across, I've done that before. Wouldn't be true to the coast path, would it? Over behind us now is the shipyard. You can see there's some uh, kind of war vessel outside. So there's still work going on there at the moment. Well, it's like a ship's graveyard here. All these ships just left to rot, disintegrated by the sea. I mean, look at this one collapsing into itself. This hasn't been one of the nicest coastal walks I've done, if I'm honest. It feels dirty and it smells. I feel grubby. I much prefer the cliffs. Get me up on the cliffs any day. I mean, I've wanted to stop for a bite to eat along here somewhere, but just nowhere pleasant that I'd like to stop, so I've just kept walking. I did have a big fry up before I left this morning, though. Well, it's my birthday, isn't it? By the time this video goes, that was three months ago, so don't bother wishing me happy birthday. <laughs> what a great boat. It looks like someone's living in that, too. Approaching Biddeford now. The new bridge, well, I say new bridge, about 30 years old. Probably more than that. I do remember it being built, though. I am old. You can see the old bit of a bridge coming in there. It's actually all got different size arches. That's because different boroughs all chipped in to pay for it back when it was built. Yeah, some couldn't afford as much stone as the others. So all the arches are different sizes depending on what borough paid for it and uh, how much stone they could afford. Bidford Bridge was first constructed in the 13th century, but then it was made of wood. We've left Bidford now and we've found ourselves on the Tarka Trail, with which we follow now to Insta. The Tarka Trail is a series of walks and cycle paths in and around Devon. Much of it is old, disused train tracks. The Tarka Trail gets its name from the book Tarka the Otter. And I don't know if you ever saw the series that James May did about toys when he made the longest model railway track. That was set along the Tarka Trail.
Coming up now opposite the shipyard, Appledore Shipyard. This must have been Insto train station in the days when this was a train track. Coming in through Insto now. See it's a lot sandier this side of the beach than it was over the other side of the estuary. Much more of a beach. Well, we were soon through Insto. Now we're heading to Fremington. I've got two hours. I think I should easily make it to Fremington. It's not really been an interesting day for things to see and look at today, but it's a part of my journey, part of my mission, and today I'm going for a PB. I'm going to just see how many miles I can do. It's relatively flat, it's been steady walking, I haven't hardly stopped. So I'm just going to keep going, see how many miles I can do in one trip. So far, about 13, 13 miles, and I've still got another couple of hours walking. It's been a very sort of industrial area with the shipyards, containers, military areas, fuel tanks. It's all right if you're into that sort of thing, but uh, I'm not in particular. But it's actually quite a sorry state, I think. Now we come back out onto the Tarka Trail again. Nice paved walk now, all the way into Fremington. Well, this is a long stretch of straight. Be good on a bike, I should think, but it's a bit thankless walking. It just seems to go on and on. I can't see the end. I can't see the start either. Fremington's got to be up here somewhere. Still going. I think I've been on this bit of road here now for about half an hour, and uh, I still can't see a corner. But I suppose it was a train track, so I tend to be fairly straight. <sighs> At last. A change of scene. <laughs> I think this is it. I think we're coming into Fremington now. Fremington Quay. So I'm here now. Fremington Quay. Time to call it a day. View Ranger says I've done 18 miles today, so good effort. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time I'm out on the coast. Uh, it should be again this weekend. I'm going down to South Devon, so that'll be the next one to look out for. Me and my mate Stan. So South Devon next. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. See you next time.